Hello everybody, this is That Shy Guy Matt, and today we are watching the finale, well season finale, for season 2 of Rings of Power. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I for some reason forgot it was only 8 episodes long, I thought it was like 14. It feels bittersweet because who knows how long it's going to be until the next season, like another year, two years. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the series so far, I'm looking forward to this. I'm assuming this is going to finish off the battle in the city. So uh, let's just hop right into this. But first, uh, if you like this content, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it helps out my channel. I finally reached 400 subs I see today uh, on my road to 500 subs. I thank you all that have subscribed. It does mean a lot. Uh, I'm looking forward to reaching the 1,000 mark eventually, so I officially become a YouTuber, at least according to YouTube. <laughs> and uh, with that said, yeah, let's just hop into Rings of Power, Episode 8, Shadow and Flame. Ooh, maybe we'll see a Balrog. The ring! It has him! Mind and soul! Yeah, how are you going to defeat your dad? He has a ring. Hmm. Those dads trying to break through. Are we going to see the Balrog? Yep. I'll, or they're going to tease it for next season. I said, take it off! Don't think he cares. Well, take off the whole heart! You're strong enough to wield an axe. Well, are you strong enough to use it against yes, your father? Yes, I am. In this case. <laughs> not in real life. I'm not. Do you remember when I was a wee lad? And we'd arm wrestle. And I knew there was nothing stronger than my father. Take it off. He's gonna toss him. You never beg. My precious. No! Come and see my son! A lot of gold. There's a Balrog. Maybe other stones? Mithril, right? Because it's blue. Oh yeah, you can see the veins of Mithril. That is a lot of Mithril. I assumed it was rare. It's not ours, man. It's yours. You taught me that. With these rings, it could be. Now swing the axe, quick. We're going to get to see it. Sweet. Ah, oh, this is awesome. I have been waiting for this. Goodbye, father. Got to give him the ring, okay? Just you getting stronger. Forgive me, my son. King Doran. Mm. Sacrifice. <laughs> yep. Whew. Now that's an intro. I I love the Balrog. I mean, I know we don't, we don't get to see a lot of it in the movies or anything, but it's such a cool fantasy creature. The ring is up now. That'll have a voice changer on it, too. That should turn out interesting with the different pitches. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's still looking for his staff, right? Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. So they left this place. I confess my patience wavered. Wizard versus wizard battle. Even though Gandalf is still a noob. <laughs> but you were the one who convinced me to leave the uttermost west. But I was told you wished to ally yourself with Sauron. Journeyed to Hroon, seeking answers, old friend. Don't fall for it, Gandalf. <laughs> I thought... These nomads might help me find you. I see now I was foolish to... Think both sides, huh? Oh. 
Well, that was easy. Is he the fellow you were looking for out here all along? No, he's not. Don't trust him. Pity will not defeat Sauron. Sauron? Would that suffice? Or would you seek to become his successor? <laughs> I would sooner walk this desert forevermore and walk with you. Nameless and forgotten. Yeah, okay. Save the storefoots. Well, no. Happy them are harfoots. These are just stores, right? So confusing. Oh, Gandalf has a. Uh, can use the force, huh? Are they gonna tell the elves about the Balrog? Oh, this is. the other city. Okay. What is the meaning of this? Gonna kill all the. People loyal to the other side still? We have learned why Miriel was able to bewitch the sea. It would seem she has an ally of cunning powers. Hmm. Gonna try frame Sauron with her? Sauron. All so-called faithful are now declared traitors. Arrest or kill them. She gonna go rescue her dad? See the error in a way. The kingdom of man turning on itself. So I take it the Palantria, Palantria, whatever, that the guy seen into was Sauron telling him, oh, you need to do all this, right? Sauron controlling everything, as always. I know a ferryman who can get us outside the city. You must travel only by night. And yours. My path is here. It is called Narsin. Oh, I see. Cool. Is that the... S Reclaim your lordship. Is Narsil... Is Narsil the sword that Aragorn had? I mean, it looked like the sword. I think it was called Narsil, right? Yeah. The Sword of Kings. The White Flame. I think that's correct. Set them free, and I will go willingly. Give me one reason. I will give you nine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I know he died. At the Hansa's Sauron, right? I thought he was stabbed, though. Tell me where you have hidden the rings. And I will end your suffering now. But the rings are beyond your reach. For soon I shall go to the shores of the morning. Yeah, I don't know if threatening him is really going to do much. He dies, he goes on to a better place. There are ways of keeping you alive. Magic. I was wondering about that. As I say, there's probably some way to keep him from dying. Hear me! One alone shall prove your utter ruin! I am their master. No, you are their... A bit? Prisoner. Yep. Lord of the Rings. Title drop. One little hobbit will be your downfall. Are you Sauron? I have many names. What is yours? Right, back in the manipulation mode. Really good episode so far. So yeah, I thought Calabrimborn died. He was run through with a blade in the back. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong? Well, wasn't that in Shadows of Mordor? Did that happen? Huh. I don't remember now. This one's already stabbed me once. Had a good healer stitch me up. Oh. Seems there's grander things here than I thought. Enough to make me realize how small I've become. Maybe he'll become Aceliador's actual heir? Even though not blood family? Unless he has a kid with this girl. Oh. They're gonna make Aceliador's heir. Come with me to Numenor. We'll build the watchtower in sight of the river. Your sister will be so pleased to hear we found you. I trust there's room on the ship. Plenty. Then one more should be no trouble. Surely an exception can be made. Nope. I'm afraid you're mistaken. My father is now king, and yours is wanted for treason. If I'd had it my way, the old fool would be dead. <laughs> Elargir is no longer a colony of Numenor, but a fortress for its soldiers. But I'm certain that won't be a problem for you. After all, there are only trees. But are they? But I wonder if the guy leading the orcs 
will die this season, or I'll just move on to next season, as always. Hmm. Adar is the name I heard. Hmm. I know that name. Is he instantly gonna transform again? Take it. Help me vanquish Sauron with it, and I swear to you, I'll recall my children to Mordor. Let this ring heal the rift between Elf and Uruk. So he's aligning with her, but I still feel like it's a trap because the rings are involved. It's too late. Not even for me. And not for you, my son. It's too late. Yep, okay. Huh. I mean, I knew he was going to get killed, because I knew Sauron was going to draw the orcs to his side. That's what he wanted. I just wasn't expecting this guy to die so soon. Raise it, Egeon. Leave no elf alive. Thralkur! I am my took! Thralkur! Thralkur! this? Your design from the beginning. Yes. They're gonna stab him with the crown now. She's gonna go flying back, right? Or not. Well, we know neither of them is gonna die. Well, he's gonna die, but not yet. Oh, that's right. I forgot Elrond and them were there. That is the full record of Celebrimbor's works. Take our lives. But leave it be, I beg you. No thanks. <laughs> What we need now is an eagle to show up, so she can fly on it and get away. The door is still open. The door is shut. I recognize that quote. I would have placed a crown upon your head. The free peoples of Middle Earth. Will always resist you. Let's get throw off the ledge. The rings are mine. Hmm. Oh, I was gonna say, I wonder if the doors would show up because the king died. Nice. The prince is in mourning. Give me your ring. She's gonna jump off the edge herself instead. Okay. Right. Or will she throw it? Heal yourself. Yep. There's gonna be water below? I don't think there was water there. But she's alive, so... Kinda of takes away from the... You know, emotion of it, because I know she ain't dead. Dwarves are securing the Elves' retreat. If we pursue many orders... <laughs> These are not merely wounds of the body. Her very immortal spirit is being drawn into the shadow realm. Put the ring back on, she'll be healed. Right? Maybe? They're losing her. The darkness is too powerful, I cannot save her. You can with this. I can. Oh, wait, he's going to put it on. Yep. Well, I forgot the mystery drink of the day was Cherry Coke, but... Not really thinking about that. Some things lost. Are lost forever. Are lost forever. Yep. No matter how hard we fight, how much it hurts, or how much our hearts yearn, to put them back together. Is this world so much bigger than any of us? And sometimes the winds blown against us are just too strong. We've just got to accept it. And all anybody can do is try and build something new. Don't be a stranger now. He's got wizard training to do. Goodbye, Grand Elf. 
Grand Elf. They've never seen an elf before. <laughs> As I say, they think he's an elf. We are very different creatures, Nori. When all said and done. Not so different at all, you ask me. There we go. I'm back, Mr. Bimbledore. It was all a test, wasn't it? I was meant to choose friendship over power. And to find this. Wizard does not find his staff. Staff. Find his wizard. Yep, okay. Like his name. Are we going to get the name Gandalf dropped now? Gandalf. Yep, okay. That's what they're going to call me, isn't it? Gandalf the Grey? Now let the song begin. Mmm. Very dull, very dull, ring a ding, dillo. Sand flies in the grass, bees around the willow. Old Tom Bombadil is a merry fellow by the shady pool. I see. Going to the Dark Wizard now. Dispatch word. Tell him, Kazadum stands ready to offer aid once more. Your father's passing has left us in a tangle. Gee, who will the king be? And uh, your brother seems to be gathering support. Hmm, he has a brother, okay. Gonna have to use the rings to unite them? Which will ultimately fail. I've never known you to be such peaceable company. I believe I was growing accustomed to it. The sanctuary. Protected by the elven rings. <laughs> All Middle Earth is within his reach now. It must decide whether to attack and bring the fight to him or to fall back to prepare our defenses. What course would you advise, Commander Calathriel? To war! I would remember the counsel of our dear friend, Philippim. And the sun yet shines. Address the people. Okay, so that was the season finale for Rings of Power Season 2. Uh, this will probably be a little bit longer of a commentary outro kind of thing. Wonderful episode. Obviously, you know I have memory issues because I have a brain injury, so I tend to forget things. So I'm sure, I'm sure there's a few things in there I mixed up. The guy that was killed that was leading the orcs originally, she called him an Uruk, which I know who the uruk are. All orcs are dark... Are, Fallen elves, right? So if all fallen fallen elves are orcs, how did he get the title orc? Uric? Is it because he's the leader of the orcs? And therefore, he gets Uric as a different title. And then how does that tie into the Urukai in Lord of the Rings, which are the huge-looking orc creatures that are called Uruk Urukai? Are they spawned from his? body somehow? I mean, I know they were born in the earth, but apparently, I guess some dark elves, some fallen elves just become Urukai? I don't know. Like I said, I forget things and I mess up things and I mix and confuse things up. So it's probably some of the fun and yet frustration of watching me because <laughs> you're probably often yelling at your YouTube video like, Matt, you got it wrong. <laughs> Face palm meme. Some of this was kind of predictable even though I don't remember much even though I mainly remember stuff from the Lord of the Rings movies and the Hobbit movies I remember a little bit from the Lord of the Rings book and for when it comes to the rest of the stuff like the Similarian I don't remember most of it at all so I know a lot of not a lot of this is accurate lore wise I've already seen that in many comments on other people after I watch an episode in edit it. I'll go watch other people's reactions to it. And uh, I'll see, I'll, f I'll find out things that I didn't know, or I'll see comments complaining about the lure. And again, I don't mind that there's a lure change. You gotta adapt it for TV slash streaming to make it more appealing to everybody. But nonetheless, uh, it's still pretty, it's still pretty predictable in too many spots. And I'm not saying necessarily that's a bad thing. But it kind of some things you know in advance, like you already know the future of Sauron, Galadriel, all these people, so there's not 
as much emotion for me invested. Like when she falls off the cliff, it's like, well, I mean, I'd be sad or whatever, but I know she's going to be fine. And Sauron, I know he's going to survive the battle until later when he takes on the armies and is, you know, in his full get up. Is the dark wizard from any of the lore? Because um, I don't know him at all. Just like I didn't know the the girl that was serving him with the white skin. I didn't recognize her description from anything. Maybe she was, and I like I said, I just don't remember. I know Tom Mimbledore, or whatever his name is. I know they've totally changed what he is. Now he's some kind of creator of everything. Which, again, I'm fine with that. That's kind of cool. It adds a new, a nice twist to the series. But yeah, overall, I enjoyed the episode. A great season finale. A lot of stories reaching one end and starting a new beginning. Like, obviously, next season, we're going to be dealing with the Balrog. With the dwarves. I'm assuming starting to destroy things. Well, well actually, I'm sure we're going to deal with the Dwarf Lords first, right? Fighting for position of king. So maybe we won't see the Balrog until the season after. And then obviously next season we'll probably get into that other city being either taken over. Which I assume isn't going to matter much if the king, if the queen takes back over, it ain't going to matter because it's still going to fall anyways. Eventually, because the orcs take over everything with Sauron, right? So... You know, I, I realize there's a huge time period between this and Lord of the Rings, or even The Hobbit. So a lot of different things are going to happen, and this series may not cover all that, of course. I will say the one elf, the black elf guy, I hate to say, say it like that, but I can never remember his name. They, they just said it at the end, and oh, I already forgot. I've seen a lot of people online saying... Well, I've seen some people saying he's better than Legolas. I'm like, is he though? I mean, most people, apparently it's just not me. Most people can't even remember his name at all. <laughs> well, to me, he's kind of a poorly written character. Not that he's not interesting or not good, but it's just kind of like, I don't know. He just, he's forgettable, fortunately. Um, I'm not sure when the next season is going to be. I don't remember the time gap between season one and season two. But I know it was long enough that I had to watch the recap before watching season two. Because it, it just was a long time. I think it was like a year or two, right? So I guess I'll be watching this again on here in a year or two when season three comes out. And then season four and season five. So it's going to be like a decade of my life. Just for five seasons. <laughs> Great season finale. Then leave us on too much of a cliffhanger because... To kind of wrap things up for this season I'll definitely be checking out some reactions to this episode by some other people I watch like the real rejects I don't know if I'm allowed shouting out names on YouTube curious what other people think of it <laughs> I know Greg on real rejects isn't too much into the series it seems and that's okay <laughs> so it's kind of fun to watch him and his friend go back and forth because one likes it the other one doesn't like it as much <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I guess that's probably about it for me. If you like this, you know, the routine, hit like, comment, subscribe. You don't even have to hit or like. You don't even have to comment. Just subscribe. You know, I, I you know, I, I want more people to see my content. Because I enjoy doing this, even though it's kind of tiring sometimes with all the editing. Because I'm the one that has to record it and edit it. And work on schedules. But still, I'm having a fun time here on YouTube. So with that all said, this has been That Shy Guy Matt, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.